Have you played the new Red Dead game? Nah, I don't think so. It's freaking awesome. Boy. All offense. All offense. I need offense to play. I have like I have like an eighty one defense and a, like a seventy nine offense. Ooh. So how how was the trial of KJ? I heard it was entertaining. That's I hilarious. Kind of know. Oh, I got a bounty on me. It's like a two hundred dollar bounty. Oh. But, uh, I take it back. It's one hundred seventy five dollars. I'm going to hopefully be able to ride into town, but I don't know if I can make it in there because I don't know if that bounty is there. But, uh, I'm open to whatever. I just hit myself in the headphone. You remember how weird Leah's sister is? Leah's sister was literally weird enough to basically send me a message from Leah's phone, or account on Instagram, and she basically, uh, was ill. She pretended to be Leah like she always does. And that pissed me off because I don't like Shayla. And... Yeah, she made her me refriend her on freaking Instagram and I don't like that. Bro, if this game puts Patrick Mahomes as my starting quarterback one more time, I am literally going to sell him. I do not want him as my starting quarterback. Why should I sell him? Hey there, friend. How can Good I help? Oh boy. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. Gavin! Okay. So I'm just gonna get back on my horse and uh, walk away. Can I sell him? Come on, let me sell him game. Uh, okay, oh, Gmail, Twitch, Matt Hunterman One is live. Uh, yeah. They get a notification when you're live. Why? I don't know. New bag, my bag. I think this is pretty cool. I could have been killed. That snake was pure evil. 
Again, you trying to give me a better Oh! oh. from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can do. What can I do for you? The uh, yeah, guy well, with the snake bite says I can put some here on his tag. That yeah, fool? Yeah. Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. Have a good day. My friend is still playing the campaign. I love this game. I love it a lot. Let's go, boy. Dang, I don't even know what kind of horse this is. I got. I barely got any money, but I will eventually pay off that bounty. To rob something, but I don't know. Yep. Is this right? Gotta <laughs> oh, get my girl some breathing room. Bro, she gunned down me. Oh, shoot. Hey, right back up and fresh out to go get my brother from the bus stop. Just looking to pass Walk through. Away. That's it. You nosy idiot. Hey, jackass! You need to leave. You're dead. God damn it! Oh. 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 sucks I never die Fantasy Walker actually handles me pretty well. I like it. It likes me. That's how life be. Wow. I really do have to ride a long way. Oh, 
wonder if it's down there. No, but that is an activity, I bet. I actually, like, I remember about the uh, KKK in the game, and to be honest, I actually have spotted them before. It's actually a pretty cool interaction. They killed me. That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? used to be a quick-draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. I'll get All out right. of here and stop wasting my time. All right. I'll show you damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. This music's really weird. Hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. If I a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose yeah, you I'll be back. I'm going to go to the yeah. store, and then once I get back, no I'm going to get some challenges to get a really here. good player, and then I'm going to play with hungry hogs. All right. No hand. Uh, uh, hell. Uh, stinks. All right. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey. You be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss. But he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this big star, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! No. No. No! You did no! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
Oh, I can go to River and sponsor it. Yeah. All right, here we go, Reverend Swanson. Swanson, you hear me? Come on. What's the hold up? I am hand. Out of my way. I am. Huh? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. Hey, none of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game! Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh, oh my dog. Well, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. In a sec, y'all. We'll be right back. It'll be real quick.
I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. All right, we good. Look, oh, I never noticed that he's crawling away. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? I'll call. Hmm. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. And life is a challenge to all of us. Here, just a little. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fellow going eat. through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Oh, I got I got the two pairs. I'm a play slow. Jesus, you play like my grandmother. Okay. Here, look. Hardly a big finale from me. Don't laugh. <laughs> ah well. Yeah. Yes, come on. All right, I'll do one more game after this one. Now we got a game going. Okay. I know. It ain't too exciting. Oh, come on. This ain't kid poker. Gonna start small here. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. Let's start this low for now. Are we going to add more cards? There. Okay. Here. What, what is happening? It's supposed to add in the new card in. That's what I got. Look at his face. He's bluffing. Here we go. I'll see you. Let's see then. There. Huh. We're in some trouble, my friend. All right. Damn it. Hey! <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Onwards we march. Lucky son of a gun. This face ain't moving. This has been quite the eventful day. I reckon you're a serious play. Okay. It's uh... nah. all in. Oh, come on. I feel bad for that man. All right. What do we got? There you go. Not looking good, huh? Well, let him win once. Pile of crap. Mm. Mm. Well, gentlemen, time to move along. Oh, hell. You're one lucky son of a bitch, you know that? Oh, I'm surely a son of a bitch, but lucky? <laughs> I ain't so sure. Come on, you. 
Let's move along. Where is he? Who? The Reverend. Where'd he go? I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Hey, Reverend! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Kill him. Hey, you get back here. I said stop. Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're dead. You yep. I, I won't tell a soul. I promise. This place, I must stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? <sighs> Probably his wife, ex-wife. Let's go back to Horseshoe Overlook. 
It's because you've been bad. his bed. You'll work it out. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. John. Hey, Arthur. How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. Okay. Where are you? I can't complain. Hi there, Arthur. Hello, ladies. Hi, Hi Karen. Hey there. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Well, How long do you think get we'll back be to here? it. Who knows? Okay, Uncle Arthur. Probably just until we start to get settled. Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. Oh, Hope you these ain't boys so know what they're doing. Me too. Anyway, shouldn't put ideas in your head. Sounds good. There she is. Oh, hello. Hey, are you guys there? Everything all right? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Just making sure. Take care, Arthur. Ah, uh, what a delightful surprise. Okay, Hello, Mr. Karen. Morgan. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How is your meal? Fine. I'm so glad. Let's go with it or say you. Mr. Morgan. Yeah, we'll see him. We'll see him. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think yes, so. Yes, they I do. Got they updated the Twitch. Go, then. Unless you mean that you're seeing my new oh, account. Oh, you still ain't brother. replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big Shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some 
big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. If there's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. Oh. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, um, Isaiah, so basically, uh, if you're looking at my account and it's different than what it used to be, it's because, um, I'm now affiliate and I now am able to have bits donated to me. Damn, this is a big horse. Damn. This is a big ass horse. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was... Passed out so cold, we left him there. Came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them too. Well, as is, gonna help me we'll keep getting right. to the next ads. Just need some you could money stay to get in the stream, game. and you could help me get more people so. in here. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. All right, boy. Oh. I didn't even freaking notice. What the shit? Oh, 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 oh. I did not mean to do that. That was insane. I didn't even notice. I just looked down for a second and I just tackled him. Yep, if we can do that. Stables are just up ahead. Alright, go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? You looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Yeah, take a look. Nah, he ain't worth 65 bucks. He's a good man. Old Stallion.
Right, partner, you got yourself a deal and a Thank fine you, new Mr. horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Thank you, mister. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Sorry, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chase. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Yeah, but Arthur ain't gonna let some stuff go that quick. You see, that boy needs to learn what he did wrong. And he ain't gonna learn it unless we shun him for a little while. I mean it. He needs to know. Yeah, my author voice ain't that good right now. It's a little rusty. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. I remember this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop so around. What do you the other think side. about Sean? You reckon he's all right? Who knows? I sure hope so. But it's been a while now. Somebody said he got knocked out in Blackwater? Yeah. I just don't know if he was picked up or picked off. Or got away. If there's one thing Sean McGuire's good at, it's wriggling out of things. Yeah. Yes, we don't know nothing till we know. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one. Cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing. Four <laughs> or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun. I remember right.
Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. No. Then you get a set up. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit. Good there. job. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <sighs> 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 You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. <sighs> all right. Well, <sighs> we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. <sighs> he better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> Morning, Arthur. <clears throat> you ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing us up? Fish? Berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, grab your stuff and let's go. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever... Think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Uh, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Whatever you say. Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Hey buddy, what's up? How you doing? Well, it 
some hey, bender. Here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks go into those trees. Ah, uh, you know the usual. Just been trying to get some stuff done, trying to be able to get a good stream in. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. See if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's you here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Uh that direction. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. It is amazing. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. <sighs> well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. I guess right over at these boulders. I guess a little further up. I love this game during this. It's freaking fantastic. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. I'm gonna go grab my... Sure. I go grab my gun. Ah. Oh, uh. I didn't grab a gun. I need a good enough gun to be able to fight him. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Right. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Oh. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> 
He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around here for a while. See what I can find. Uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. See you back there. He left more poo. Must be near. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? You, I swear, does it not let me freaking do this? I hate when the game does that, just let me freaking get him. I know, I say. Uh. I really want that bear. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Okay there.
Let's get <laughs> decent hunt, girl. All right, girl. It's okay, girl. All right. Uh, where is this one? Okay, that is what we'll do too. Where is. Ah, uh, let's run over to half the air. Yeah. Unless, can I find that. Easy. I can find that freaking map you started in. And of course. collapsed I, I, I don't know why it's my friends I'll see what I can do oh, <gasps> yes yes just lift as hard as you can oh thank you thank you you saved me sure. oh that was bad okay oh, sure I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> you need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. I live over in Annisburg. No problem. <clears throat> That sound of just the rebel. This girl won't take long. We'll need to go on a horse. Uh, my leg can't handle the walk. travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Yep. Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem odd. Oh, God! Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the... Slow down, please.
They all saw how that one gear just spawned out of nowhere, right? your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You'll be well. Let's see, anything I'm missing out on? Whoa, I thought you was already gone. Tell her. I never stop. I'm sorry. Oh, I might as well see what that guy 
Excuse me. Dear Miss Furka, I'm sorry I said it. You're right, I do things and get out of control. I always have. I see that, but I love you. We we're meant to be together. There's a destiny. I know it is. I saw us in a dream when I was a kid. Be very happy as my wife and I was proud of you having dreams. Don't lie, and neither do I. I'm heading off to, to make my fortune. Now you're come back a rich man. You'll see what a fine husband I'll make you. And follow to our children. And no, I won't grow up. On that subject, you're wrong. I've got so many things to say to you. I'm going to continue with writing this letter later. But believe me when I say we are destined for a long, happy life together. You and your father will show... You and your father will came to believe and accept me. No matter how humble my birth. I'm sorry to hear about that. It's a damn shame. Where am I supposed to go back? Uh, sh All right, I can cut through a little bit of this land. I really don't want to have to kill too many people today, so I'm gonna just... The entire process comes to a halt. Well, good luck to you. Until next time. Hey there. Calm down. Kiss my ass. Just calm down. Yes, very nice. Okay, now I must go. Mister? Hello. 
to catch a break today. Keep your head down. It'll pass. Always does. Yeah, well, it can always be worse, huh? Stay safe. Come here a minute. What do you need? Oh. Oh. Uh, thanks for stopping, sir. Thank you. Um, Percy Whitsickle. Central Union Railroad Company. Maybe you can help me. One of my... One of my... One of my workers has been stealing wages. Three weeks running. I have searched everyone and everywhere ten times over. Of course, no one is talking the way they look at me. What's all this got to do with me? Oh, uh, I just... I think I need someone a little more neutral. A little more persuasive. And, and, and you look like you're a... You know, and I gotta watch the camp, so... Could you see what you could sniff out? I'll pay you for your efforts, of course. Yeah, I got it. What exactly is it you want me to do? Find the thief and recover the money. And give him his marching orders. I'm not one for matters of personnel. Look for anyone sneaking off the line. They've got to be stashing it away from camp somewhere. Well, can you help me? My head is on the block here. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. No complaining. Just get the job done. And if you're gonna talk, talk English! We offer you honest work for honest pay, and you steal from us. It's disgusting. Come on! What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Very well, man. I heard this too. All right, I gotta go for a piss. Well, Y'all keep at it. I'll hear it if you go. A man at the general store refused me yesterday. Accuse me of stealing jobs from the house. Feel you that it's hot. Okay. Let's see what this guy's got up his sleeves. What are you doing here? Doing your friend Percy a little favor. He says one of the workers has been stealing. I reckon I just found him. Stealing? <laughs> what? I, I'm the junior foreman here. It, it's them Orientals you want to speak to. You ready to return that money you stole? Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm leaving. 
Ammonia is in the tree. Just please don't kill me. Okay, I just heard a big ass slam in my house. Damn, that dude stole a hundred dollars. It's a lot of money. Back in that day, but it's, it's a good amount of money for kids nowadays. I could ride off with that money. To pay off just about all my debt. I'm gonna get my honor up because I'm not stealing it. I got your money. Here. You're gonna need a new junior foreman, though. He just quit. Randall? I don't believe it. Well, that does explain a few things. Thank you for your help, partner. Here. For your trouble. It's like 30 bucks. Assume. Ah, give me fifty dollars. Well, thank you. Here. Come on, girl. Yep. Oh my god. Let me just see for a quick see who's online. my friend tobacco nature's gift to us all hmm. focuses the mind like nothing else whatever you say well I say why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own well plenty left here if you're interested I'd best keep moving Well, shit. Thanks, Bye now, yes. mister.
All right, I'm back. Dang, there really is no one online. Let me invite bro. about to hop into a match and I get in and fight. Oh well, who cares? Why well, you might as well chat for a bit. It's lonely out here. You saw us streaming, why didn't you come um, and join me? Not lonely. I literally play with people. Well I'm doing one more mission out on this stream if you wanna watch it. Tear my uh, killers up. What? Oh, um, hold on. I gotta go. Eat. Oh, I'll join you later. Alright. You're done here. No mercy for you. That's it. All right, let's finish this last mission up before I uh, turn it off. Go uh, sell this thing. And go talk to Javier for a little bit. Like the way I've been streaming recently is, if I have time, I stream. If I don't, that sucks. I'm getting a bunch of gaming with all my people. And I do, I actually got one of my friends that's uh, not a social. Still love the person, they're awesome. I uh, don't say their names because they don't want to become streaming that much, but they're pretty cool. And uh, they're already joining my discords. Let's see how far I am from the thing. Welcome to Valentine. Jamis. Sí. 
seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. Thanks, partner. Hey, Hello, mister. sir. You get a lot of money doing this? Not much, but it's the trying that counts. If you say so. Well, I do. And who do you help? I'll help you learn to keep your mouth closed. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> It is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <coughs> so give you generously, for that is what this country needs to help each other. A new philanthropic organization working for the ameliorization of the condition of the poor. Won't you help our efforts with small donation? Poverism is on the rise in every state in this great land. We are fundraising today to find it. I'll finance the first rescue mission for the county we aim, helping beg the helping those begging to listen and visit vitals for be provided with food, clothing, and a clean bed to sleep in. Instilling prudent habits among the poor, skilling judgment, encouraging hard work through tradesmen and apprentice program. Construct a series of of missions and orphanages so that despite adults and motherless and fatherless children will be welcome regarding their race, color, nationality, or whatever the previous men social condition. Precluding hardship, squalor, curtailing the, the Grand Sea, providing school and, and the educational resources by contributing as little as a penny, you're raising your fellow man on out of hunger, out of gambling dens, brothels, hovels, and hallways, and into a home of life of hope. You join in the administration of charity as we endeavored the common cause of humanity. Come on, give some money. Can I give money? I guess this game really isn't for the good hearted people. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's all, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah. Regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Huh? Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Let's go, Arthur! 
Come on, Arthur. It's the town drunk. Local drunk. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come oh, it's the next guy. You won the fight already, surely that's enough! What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right, we ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure! There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Well, y'all, it's, uh, it's been a good one, so uh, see y'all in the next uh, video, stream, whatever we want to call it. I'd say it could definitely be on Wednesday, but we'll definitely have a few this weekend. For now, cheers, mates. Peace.